What's going on guys? Want to do a video today telling you what I think are the two best choices of footwear for residential construction. So first of all, I want to say the demands of your job are going to steer your choice of footwear. And when I say that, I mean some places you work for are going to require you wear um, some kind of safety toe, whether that's steel or composite toe. Uh, other place you may work for doesn't care if you wear tennis shoes. So the first thing you're going to have to consider is whatever the requirements of your workplace are for footwear and their safety regulations, whether OSHA exists or not. Second thing that's going to steer your choice of footwear is what are you doing? You know, uh, one pair of shoes or boots doesn't cover all areas of carpentry and um, home building. You may be inside, you may be outside, you may be on a roof, you may be on the ground. You wouldn't necessarily want to wear a pair of boots inside of a finished house, and you wouldn't want to necessarily wear a pair of tennis shoes uh, in the mud or um, forming concrete. So the third thing that's going to steer uh, your choice of footwear, it starts from day zero, is uh, clinching the job. Um, I'm a big believer in the fact that uh, wearing a pair of work boots speaks words that you don't have to. If you're having an interview or uh, showing up for your first day on the job, uh, a pair of work boots gives off an impression that you are a worker and that you are there to work. I have always was kind of told growing up that a man's boots and man's hands kind of says a lot about him. And uh, so those are kind of the main points that might steer your choice of footwear. So I'm going to tell you what my uh, two primary choices are that I think for, for me personally are the best choice of footwear for a residential carpenter. Tennis shoes. Whenever it comes to sheeting a roof, to me is probably the most important choice and that's where some, there's some key things that you'd want to look for as far as a, a street shoe or tennis shoe uh, whenever you're building houses. Anything north of about a 512 pitch, you start getting uh, way too steep for uh, really any pair of boots to stick, just based simply off of uh, the sole material. Uh, a lot of boots have, you know, maybe some composite components to them, some plastic on the soles and things like that, and uh, it's not conducive to sticking to a, an OSB roof. As far as the brand, you know, make, model, whatever, it doesn't really matter for street shoes, in my opinion. Uh, but some key components that you're going to want, you're going to want some decent ankle support. These are like a trail running shoe. And I found like the, the trail running shoes to provide kind of the better um, performance for what I did. Um, these provided plenty of ankle support, uh, especially when you're on like an 8 or a 10, 12 roof where you're no matter what, your heels and your ankles are going to be shot by the end of the day. Um, the trail running shoes seem to provide more support in my personal opinion. Uh, you're going to want them to be made out of somewhat durable materials because, let's be honest, I mean, you don't want to go be buying a brand, you know, brand new pair of tennis shoes every couple of months. You know, if you can get um, eight months to a year out of them, that's ideal. So these uh, shoes like this, these are Fila trail shoes. Uh, they've got a lot more, you know, uh, rubber and, you know, a little bit more durable um, construction to them and a lot less of the mesh materials and things like that. You're going to want as much rubber on your sole as possible. The rubber is what sticks to the roof, not so much the tread pattern, although that can make a difference. Um, I've worn almost completely bald. Um, I think they're a pair of Solomon uh, Speed Cross 3s that I had, awesome shoes. Uh, they're almost completely bald on the bottom, but they're a hundred percent rubber and they just stick to a roof like glue. Uh, 8, 12, 10, 12, doesn't matter. Uh, they're excellent shoes for a roof. And so that has, to me, is the key most important, uh, important component is having that solid rubber sole because they can have no traction left whatsoever and that rubber is still going to stick, uh, especially on a hot day. In my personal opinion, uh, the... Uh, closest thing to a one does all and uh, the boot that I've worn even in commercial construction and uh, I've been through many pairs of them and they've provided me the best protection and service is a good pair of mock toe work boots these are Carhartt six inch wedges um, 
they've been a great boot for me. Uh, they've got some mixed reviews online or whatever. I bought these kind of out of necessity. I had worn through uh, my other pair. And I've had great luck with them. I've had these for over a year and they've lasted and held up very well. Um, I'm pretty good about maintenance. I oil my boots and all my leather stuff, whether it's gloves or whatever. Um, I am big on maintenance. Some guys aren't, some guys don't wanna have to worry about that. But all in all, a good pair of wedge sole mock toe boots like this, uh, they are, in my mind, the superior work boot. Whenever you think of a work boot, this is what I think of. Uh, I have leather laces on these. I really like leather laces. They seem to kind of cinch and, you know, kind of stretch in a way that they stay tied and they stay tight around your ankles. All the stitching's held on these boots and uh, it's not like I've babied these boots. I've run them pretty hard and uh, had concrete on them, mud and everything else. Uh, I've had them wet uh, and uh, dried out and had to oil them back to life and whatever. They've held up just fine. So these to me, are the premium best all around work boot for residential construction and, and uh, for a carpenter. Uh, they hug your feet, they give you the ankle support that you need. Um, I don't have the greatest feet, um, so plenty of cushion in a, in a boot is important for me. These have it, any pair of wedge soles I've ever worn have had it. These are gonna wear out soon. Um, they're starting to break over the sides a little bit just because of how I walk. So I will have to get a new pair sooner rather than later, unfortunately. Um, I'm not sure what that brand will be or what I'll do, whether it's gonna be uh, Thorough Goods or Carolinas, but um, I will always, I can promise you, wear a pair of wedge sole boots. Uh, these are six inch. I'm not as big on the six inch boots, although I've really liked these a lot. I do prefer the eight inch boots, but uh, these six inches have been just fine and uh, serve me very well. And uh, they don't have, you know, real heavy tread. So you can wear, uh, clean them out pretty easily to wear them inside a the house if you had to. But these are it, you know, these are the boot. These are the ones that, you know, have always spoke to me as being the premium work boot and they've served me the best in all scenarios, whether that's concrete form work or um, framing uh, in and out of the house, uh, you know, the, the developing equipment, operating, everything. You know, these are, these are the boot. They, um, they serve me well, they don't let me down and I'm always gonna buy them. So I do believe though, that if you're going to dump money somewhere, dump it in your boots. Um, I always remember a guy's told me, uh, back when I first started construction that spend most money on your bed and your boots because you got to sleep well and you're going to spend more time on your feet in your boots than you are in any other pair of shoes that you own. Uh, especially when you're obviously when you do this for a living. So anyway, that's what I got guys, you know, make decisions for yourself and try different things. But, um, like I said, I've tried a lot of different styles and different brands and, uh, these are it for me and these are all that I'm ever going to wear. So, Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Gonna have more videos coming, so be sure to like and subscribe and check back in.